Hello guys, welcome to a special video. So this video is about the Qingming festival mainly, and it's in English called the Tomb Sweeping Festival, in which we go to the graves of our family members that has passed away, and we give them offerings such as like food, paper, money, and uh, we end the visit with firecrackers and some other cool stuff. So you guys can see what it's like in China for this festival is actually quite interesting so so I haven't recorded in a while that's because everything's you know been pretty normal just going to school and stuff so nothing really much to record but uh, this weekend I'm going back to my hometown actually in Guangdong and I'm in Shanghai so it's quite a trek so I need to get myself a train ticket so I can get back so the reason I'm going back to my hometown is for Qingming Festival which is a very popular festival in China because as you can see I'm pretty sure most of these guys uh, are going back to their respective hometowns to pay a visit to the graves so that's what Qingming Festival is it's uh, on Monday uh, April 4th so yeah this is uh, April 3rd so I'll be back the day before and then I'll be spending like uh, kind of like two days at my hometown, so it'll be interesting. Okay, so I managed to get the ticket and I have 20 minutes ish left over before the train arrives and stuff. Okay, so these are the bullet trains, man. I've never uh, ridden one before, so it's really cool. Okay, so I need to go to number 13, number 11. So that means mine is at the very end, almost. Okay, after like three minutes of frantically running around trying to find the section of uh, the train I was in, I'm finally here, it was actually sec section five. But yeah, here we go, just started moving. And it's gonna be, right now it is eight, right? So I'm expected to get to Guangzhou at 2.30. So that's four, so yeah, six hours and 30 minutes. This is gonna be a really long ride, but nothing like the airplane ride where it took like pretty much the whole day, like 20 plus hours. I didn't record this, but um, I went to this area with my program uh, members and we went here just to see the Shanghai farm life. It's actually really cool. They grow a lot of these plants. I'm not sure their name, but they use it for producing uh, vegetable oil, I think. Finally guys, six and a half hour train ride and I am at Guangzhou now and uh, I'll be meeting up with some of my family members. Welcome to the rice fields. Okay, so uh, we're almost to the grave sites of uh, my, I think, my grandpa, my great grandparents too, for my mother's side. Well, in this side of the town really not much has changed like there still hasn't any uh pay roads so yeah getting here with the car was kind of funky i haven't done this in like 10 plus years it's been a long time we had to put some of these on top of the graves i'm not really sure what it's for it's been a long time i think it's just how it's always been so I, i'm not too familiar with what i did like 10 plus years ago but definitely had to pray and uh place some essence and have some food offering yeah that's a pig right there that's a whole pig it's been like roasted to the max so yeah roasted pig usually bring like soda food for like an offering per se those are my cousins you know putting their incense always have to bow a few times we are now going to uh fire off these firecrackers and yeah i remember it being like this Line it from the back all the way to the front and you know just watch from afar and see the action. And also we burn paper money to you know give to our deceased family members so they can use it to do whatever they want. Usually I just say you know use it to gamble enjoy it because there's always going to be more coming you know. That's the cool part. But yeah it's pretty much unlimited. You can get a lot of this for, for a lot less of the actual paper bills. Oh, look, come on. Okay. All right, so let's do it. Oh. 
Oh shit, I thought it was over. Okay, I need to get away from the smoke. <laughs> oh, okay. You, your ears might have died. But yeah, that's how you uh, do the Qingming Festival, man. Just end it with a lot of bang. And yeah, these are the remains of oh, the firecrackers. Okay, so in total, I went to four grave sites. Uh, two for my mom's side of the family and two for my dad's side of the family. Basically, when I got to the third site, well, before getting there, it was just like a jungle. So we just had to navigate through a shit ton of like vines and thorns and stuff, and it's really hot. Yeah, I'm recording, and it's, it was really hot, so I just couldn't do it. We're going to my great grandmother gravesite. So as you can see, the rain, it's already starting to rain over there and I'm approximating somewhere within 10 minutes. You can actually see the, the rain. You, can you see that? Yeah, that's actually rain. So in like 10 minutes or so, it's probably gonna get here. So we're gonna try to get all this done before. There you go, I love recording this, I don't know why, but oh my god, it's way too smoky. Um, so now that we're done uh, with our Qingming activities, we just uh, cut off the pig that we use for like the uh, offering, and uh, we eat it. Well, like we already, I already technically completed like the thing twice because uh, my other family, you know, my my mom's side, they finished theirs a long time ago, so I already ate some of it. So, but yeah, this is my dad's side, so they're eating theirs now. And yeah, that's the gate to my village. That hasn't changed, so yeah, it's actually really reminiscent in the daytime. I remember a lot of the places, so that's cool. Okay, I'm heading back to Shanghai now. 300 kilometers an hour, guys. Pretty fast, but yeah, it's over 2,000 kilometers to get back to Shanghai. I believe they used to go 600, but a while ago there was like an accident, you know, where a few people died. So they obviously trimmed down the, the speed just, just to make sure people, you know, aren't scared. It's like, that won't happen again. But yeah, 300 is still really fast though. 300 kilometers, so... How would, how would I convert that? It would be like, what? 200 something miles? Yeah, probably. Finally, back at Shanghai, bitches. That was a fucking long ass ride. Freaking eight hours. No, it was like eight hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, about an hour longer than, oh wait, no. About like almost two hours longer than last time. I don't know why. This train in particular, it, it did so many more stops. Well guys, I'm not really back yet. I still have to take the fucking public transportation to get back to my apartment. So that's also gonna take another hour. Well, every time you enter the metro, they call it, we have to put our bags in the inspection machine. So that's a little bit you know, up the security for your standard public transportation. And I, I wanna make sure I'm going at the right place, so this should be the right entrance. I think they all lead to the same part, so... And uh, here's my card, the Metro. Works very well. There you go. 15 left. Okay, can't believe I never show you guys this. Probably because I didn't want to report with so many goddamn people around here. But it's not that loud, so... And yeah, let me tell you, the trains here is mighty fine. Way better than the Boston subway station. The Boston subway station is straight up, you know, old and yeah, trash compared to this one. It's all safer, faster, and cleaner too, so. Oh, goddamn, so many people. All right, we're going in the train. Let's try to get in first, because it gets crowded fast. Oh, goddamn, okay, okay. All right, I'm just gonna stand by the door. But uh, we need to get to John One Stadium right here. Okay. Alright, we're in Jiangwen Stadium now, so I'm finally back. So yeah, that ends my mini adventure going back to the village. I plan on going back more formally instead of just going there for 
the Qingming Festival because honestly, I really didn't get to do much this time just because we were just too busy trying to, you know, go through all the, uh, the graves and stuff. So yeah, they didn't really have much time to like really show around the village because I have a lot of cool places that I used to uh, play around with and you know, just go to. And yeah, I want to show you guys those, but we'll have to wait till next time. Uh, once semester's over, I'll go back. That's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. So this video was a bitch to make because I didn't realize when I was recording on my phone, it was actually in super high quality. So all the file sizes were ridiculous. And uh, this laptop here doesn't actually hold much storage. So I actually had to split up all the files and uh, make like four different videos and then put it into one so that I could delete the older files as I edit. So yeah, that was a pain, but hope you guys like that one though. And yes, I am going to Beijing in April like 15, so next weekend on Friday. So I thought I'm gonna make a vlog for that too. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys with another vlog uh, after next week when I am done with Beijing trip.